Today we will be discussing the properties of matter. We have two main properties or property types. We have a physical property, which is going to be something that you can physically see without doing any tests. So some examples of a physical property could be the color, uh, the solubility, which means can it dissolve in water or any other liquid, the hardness, the density, and the melting and boiling points. Uh, viscosity and conductivity are also physical properties. Viscosity means its resistance to flow and conductivity is going to be whether or not it will conduct electricity. The other classification of a property of matter is going to be a chemical property. Chemical properties can only be discovered by destroying what you are testing it with. So some examples of a chemical property would be flammability. You can't test whether something is flammable or not without risking destroying what you're testing. Reactivity, meaning if it will uh, interact with or react or change with any uh, specific other compound. And toxicity, which is specifically referring to how it affects the human uh, body, whether or not we will get sick from it. Physical properties can be broken down into uh, further subcategories. The subcategories are intensive properties and extensive properties. So an intensive property does not depend on the amount of the compound present. I don't care, it is intensive. In means internal, it means it is fundamental to itself. By it being that particular compound or that particular uh, element, those properties will stay true forever. So some examples of an intensive property would be uh, my density, melting or boiling points, freezing points, and color. It doesn't matter how much paper I have, it will always be white. Even if I tear it up into itty bitty pieces, that color is not going to change. The density of the paper isn't going to change. All those kinds of things are internal or intensive properties. Extensive or external properties means that I do care about how much I have present. Some examples of some extensive properties are going to be my volume, how much space a particular object takes up, the mass, how much it weighs, uh, and also the length. So those things I can change about my particular compound just by breaking them up or uh, changing the amount of that particular compound I have. So that's intensive and extensive properties and physical and chemical properties.